The U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton says a carrier strike group and a bomber task force will deploy to the Middle East to send a clear message to Iran. He said any attack by Iran would be met with what he called unrelenting force. In April, Washington designated Iran's Revolutionary Guard a foreign terrorist organization. Tehran responded by identifying all U.S. troops in the Middle East as terrorists. Let's get some more of today's other news now. All right, I'd also like to get your thoughts on another issue we just reported on, the announcement from the National Security Advisor John Bolton that the U.S. is deploying warships to the Middle East. He says because of troubling warnings from Iran, we've not heard anything at this point from the president on this, but what do you make of this stern message being sent from the senior official? Well, at this point, I think we can only anticipate that we will find out something eventually. Um, and uh, the deployment of warships is a substantial uh, action. Um, and so I don't think that we should take it lightly. However, we know that very often stationing ships and moving ships and things like that is a threat. It is a show of brinkmanship. That doesn't mean that there's actually going to be any sort of attack or invasion. It does mean that we're probably trying to exert a show of power and that, you know, we could find out soon why that's happening, but we may not find out ever. And hearing from Iran's response, uh, essentially saying that uh, they, it will be reciprocal. Uh, where does this go from here, Gina? Well, at least at the beginning, we're going to see a, a little bit of escalation on each side is what we should expect. And some grandstanding and um, some, as, as my previous colleague said, at brinkmanship. So we're going to watch that escalate at least a little bit. But I don't think that we're going to see a large show of force or uh, any sort of firepower for the time being. Gina Yanatel Reinhardt joining us in Essex, England. Uh, Gina, thank you again. Thank you, George.